y'all, it is soup season around here, and so what do we need with soup? We need crackers, and I love to make these spice crackers, or seasoned saltines, I like to call them, um, because not only can you enjoy them anytime with any soup, even if it's soup out of a can, you can just eat them as a snack, too, so they are so very good. John loves them. Everybody I make them for loves them. Um, just to snack on. All we need is some oil, some ranch seasoning package, a one ounce package, and some saltines. And you need a big container to put them in or one of those large, large Ziploc bags. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I've got this big container I love to use. They fit in there perfectly. And I'm gonna open all four of these. And, and then I'll be back home here with y'all. I grew up eating these seasoned crackers. Um, a lot of times people use even the little small, are they called oyster crackers? Any kind of cracker you want to use. You could probably even do like some butter crackers. I bet they'd be real good seasoned. Um, but I never learned how to make them. I just remember eating them as a kiddo. Well, I worked at the veterinary clinic in town for years. I know I've told y'all that before. And one of my boss's mama, Miss Bobby Jo, a lot of you locally will know who I'm talking about. She taught me this recipe. Well, I, she made us this to go with some soup and brought it to us. And so I said, Miss Bobby Jo, please tell me how you make those. I love them. She started telling me. She said, just put them in a container and put the oil and the seasoning. And then I said, okay. And so just, then I put them on a cookie sheet and bake them. She said, no, no. And I said, well, do I just lay them out to dry? No, honey. She told me I was making it way too hard. She said, these are as easy as falling off a log. So um, that's pretty doggone easy, right? <laughs> and she wasn't kidding. So I love that. And I'll never forget that. She is a joy to be around. Um, I need one and one quarter cups. And I'm using canola oil. You certainly can use vegetable oil. I probably would not use an oil that is uh, flavored, you know, like olive oil or even coconut oil, unless you were doing a sweet cracker, right? I know, you can do anything you want with this recipe. I've got one and a quarter cups, and into this, this is only the third ingredient we need, but y'all know me, I don't leave well enough alone, so we're going to add some cayenne and make our spicy crackers. Original ranch Salad dressing seasoning. Y'all know we've used that in so many things. It's not even funny, is it? I know it. I don't know what we do without it. I need to home make that with y'all. I go to church with a sweet lady, Miss Mary. Hey, Miss Mary. And she gave me her homemade recipe. And I want to do that with y'all really, really soon in case you can't find it or you're at the house during the holidays. And you need to make it and you don't have any on hand. Okay, y'all, that's all you need to do for your seasoned saltines, but I like to make them spicy. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And if you don't want them quite that spicy, you can back off from there. I've also put smoked paprika before, and that's so very, very good in here. Um, chipotle seasoning, um, which is basically smoked jalapeno powder, you know, so it's very good as well. Kind of takes care of your cayenne and your smoky flavor all together. So anything you want to add, and you can, you can imagine how you can make this a sweet one, like with some cinnamons and all sorts of little fall flavors. And if you don't have a container to put your crackers in, like I say, you just pour this straight in the big Ziploc bag you're using as well. The only thing you need to do is you need to be gentle with your little crackers because, you know, if you really get to shake them vigorously, you'll break them. And one time I bought a box and I came home to make these and just about every one of the packages had broken crackers in it. Someone had not been gentle before I got them. I do not want to waste any of this. 
There we have it. And this is the part where I just thought this was too simple and easy with Miss Bobby Joe. I keep asking her, do I put them in the oven on the cookie sheet? And she'd say, no. <laughs> you see how I did that? I'm just being kind of easy like that. And I'll turn them again, kind of like that. Same thing if you're using a Ziploc bag. You just slowly toss it over and over like that. I'll do it like this for a little while and let it drain. Then a little while later, I'll come back and turn it up like this. And they're really done, but I like to make these early in the day if we're going to have them for supper soup at night, just to let it all totally get absorbed. And no, this is the part that I'll answer your question. It was one of my questions is, will it make these crackers soggy? No siree. Y'all want to taste one? <laughs> I wish I could give y'all one so badly. And they're addictive. I want to warn you, these are addictive. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This makes enough to share with people too, doesn't it? So y'all go make you some. I'll see y'all next time.